The World Health Organization team has been shuffling on and off buses, whisked around Wuhan to investigate the origins of COVID-19. It looks carefully stage managed, with the press kept at a distance. But one member of the team, in his first interview with a British broadcaster since arriving in China, insists they are asking tough questions and making real progress. A lot of people saying, well, this is effectively going to be a Potemkin tour of what China wants you to see, wants the world to see, and therefore lacks credibility. Is that a fair assessment? No, you know, we are, we're loaded into buses and we go to visit places, but we don't just wander around and take a few pictures. We look into things, we ask questions, we say, why is this here? What happened then? And we're talking to the people who collected the samples from the floor of the market that then tested positive. Even more important is the data that Chinese scientists have been collecting over the last year. I mean, they are sharing data with us that, that we've not seen before, that no one's seen before. They are talking with us openly about every possible pathway. So I, I think we're really getting some. I think any member of the team would say that. Tomorrow, the experts will visit the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Researchers there handled coronaviruses, but have rejected the possibility of a leak. Dr. Tashak has a long-standing working relationship with the lab, but is not ruling the theory out. You know, my relationship with China, uh, my work here, my, my um, connections to the Wuhan Institute of Virology and, and uh, Xi Jinping are very well known. And they're really well known because I've spent 20 years or 15 years publishing the data. Um, I think that's a pretty worthwhile thing that we've been doing. We, we're all aware of the hypotheses around the potential of the lab involvement in this. And we're certainly going to ask questions about um, all of the key aspects of the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And he's optimistic about eventually finding the origins of COVID-19, but has a stark warning about the situation now. Well, I, I, you know, I'm of, I'm of the mindset that this virus is going to be with us forever. This is one of the viruses that jumped into humans and then became endemic and will be with us forever. Did you find anything? Forever will have to wait, though. Right now, they need to find answers. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Beijing.